Let's play Redactyl number 434 on Wednesday, June 14th, to our title, 4-6. And 4-6 is the 12-8 of 9 into the past are 6. So now past does not get redacted, I suppose, because it can be a preposition. Uh, but I think here it means into the past as opposed to the future. So is it a um, a grammatical thing, or is it um, some kind of prophecy? <laughs> prophecy into the past is pretty easy. Uh, four six is a six ten seven in ten and seven twelve seven seven. In general, four six is nine eight through the use of a 12, 6, 5 as a 4, 7. The 4 of a something, something was uh, described by someone's, and then I think it's a year and a, the word novel maybe, the 4, 7. Oh, um, I was going to say introduced, but introduced is only 10 letters. Of course, I have to double check all of my counting after Turkmenistan yesterday. Um, it is something, if 4, 6 to the past is 10, it is arguable, it is debatable. If, oh, oh, of course, um, something to uh, the past or the future. And uh, the novelist is H.G. Wells, and it's The Time Machine. I loved the original version of that film. Um, I don't think I've ever read the book. But anyway, uh, I think this must be time travel. And did H.G. Wells really invent it or not? But anyway, I think this has to be time travel, so I'm not going to waste your time. I'll let you travel. Time travel. There we go. So uh, I'm playing very late today, uh, meeting people for lunch. Uh, so there have been almost 1,400 players. The median is only five. Wow. I think that might be the lowest uh, I've seen. Even, excuse, <laughs> excuse me, the <laughs> average is just 15. But I think a lot of people will have got this very quickly. There is the front page of the time machine. Hypothetical activity. Popularized. Okay, not invented, but popularized. It's uncertain if something is physically possible. But forward time travel, yeah, should be feasible. And then the history. Oh, wow. Hindu mythology seems to be the earliest. All right. Well, uh, very nice, of course, starting late today to get a quick one. I hope you're able to solve it as quickly. Thank you, as always, for watching and have a wonderful day.